Hey, it looks like a popular spot today, huh? <laughs> All right, so uh, good to see everybody. Um, so uh, just wanted to start off by saying, had a meeting with the rookies uh, this morning and really talked about just about investing, you know, in this time that we have together. I know it's short, you know, and then really just trying to grow. You know, we're trying to grow uh, each player um, at his position, you know, and then really just ultimately improving over the weekend. And uh, it's a it's a start of the process uh, for us to be able to get the coaches uh, and the players together and start that partnership. That's really important to us um, and starting to learn each other, how they learn and, and how the guys are uh, taking in the information. That's always a big part of it. You know, and it's just the basics of football, right? Going from a meeting, we get to see that finally going from a meeting to the walkthrough to the practice to correction and then repeat that process. So we're excited about getting that going. Um, what are we looking for? You know, relative to the players, you know, so first of all, our draft picks, you know, obviously Caleb and Rome were looking for operation of the offense, you know, taking that information from the meeting to the walkthrough to the practice, you know, the everything from breaking the huddle to getting the cadence right to, uh, you know, adjusting the call if need be, um, everything from A to Z there. Um, you know, Karan is, is not practicing today, um, so he's not available, won't be available to practice. Uh, pretty much all through the offseason. We knew about this injury, uh, this quad injury that he had, um, you know, at his college. And uh, we want to get that process in terms of the whole rehab and everything so he's healthy for training camp. So that's where he's going to be. Um, you know, and then Austin, obviously, is a hard-charging guy. We're excited to see his motor today out there and see his movement skills um, as a pass rusher. So we're excited about that as well. And then Tory, You know, Tory's going to be hitting some punts today. We'll get a chance to see him out there. Um, you know, a few times, so that's uh, exciting to see that. And then we have uh, several undrafted free agents that we signed. You know, we got five, uh, nine of those guys, five draft picks, and we're excited about that, you know, getting a look at those guys and also several tryout, tryout guys as well. So uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. Matt, not a lot of coaches get the number one overall pick, but a lot of coaches have had to develop a rookie quarterback. How did you make your plan for what you want to do with Caleb? And do you lean on Shane? Do you lean on Thomas? Those sorts of guys. Yeah, so we're fortunate that Thomas uh, went through it last year. You know, uh, he was at Carolina, obviously. And so we got to uh, glean some information from him. Uh, we certainly talked to guys throughout the league that have had uh, this early pick you know, at, at quarterback and uh, got a lot of good information what are you uh, from those guys. Like just practice reps or psychology? or, or uh, Everything. Everything, the whole process. You would go through uh, the whole process of that, and uh, you know certainly have good friends in the league uh, that you would lean on to talk to that about. And uh, we certainly got some good information for those guys. Dallas, when the Dak came on the scene, is there anything you remember from that experience, uh, watching him jump in and play really well as a rookie? Yeah, that was uh, it was an unfortunate incident, you know, for with uh, Romo. You know, we were out in Seattle and he got hurt, and uh, you know the, the Dak stepped in, and uh, the whole team rallied around him. And we had a really good year that year um, and a couple years after that. So uh, certainly uh, he stepped right into that and owned it. And, the, and it was a great job by him. Matt, Caleb's private quarterbacks coach said that they've already begun working on just bits and pieces of the Bears offense. What was that process like of what you guys gave him that you wanted him to maybe get up to speed on before he came here today? Yeah, Will Hewitt's been awesome in this whole process, us uh, being able to uh, have great conversations with him. And uh, he, he gets it. He's trained a lot of guys. Um, and uh, he's uh, uh, elite at what he does. And so it uh, was a pleasure to work with him. Um, so uh, he was working on our stuff, you know, a little bit, you know, cadence and those types of things and, and the footwork that we want. And uh, that's been a good process for us. How much of the playbook do you do you give somebody that's outside of the, your coaching staff? Like what is, you know, what's like the depth of what they're going through versus what he's going to have to go through? Yeah, it's more just fundamentals, route tree stuff, you know, just basics. As you became more familiar with, with Rome as a player, what, what, what jumped out to you as you kind of learned who he was as a receiver? Yeah, just the, the work ethic, number one. Uh, you, know, number, you know, the second thing I'd say that how he worked at his craft to master it. And again, he's, he knows he's not a finished product and he's got a lot of improving to do you know, as, he, as he gets into this, uh, the NFL. And, but uh, his work ethic is, is elite and he worked himself into being that top 10 pick. Matt, when, when you're around Caleb, what, how would you describe his aura? Uh, it's it's really, it's you know, I've said it before that you can really tell that he's comfortable with himself uh, in his own skin, and he is who he is. And uh, his personality uh, starts, you know, in his light comes out from the inside. 
Uh, you can certainly feel that energy. He's a one plus one equals three guy. You know, so he's an enhancer. Uh, he's a guy that uh, brings out the best in people, and you can certainly feel that within five minutes of meeting him. Matt, how does it feel to you to start fresh with a, a new quarterback, to have a guy that you're starting on the ground level with instead of, you know, in the past you inherited Justin, you had to go through some things from the year before, to start fresh with a new quarterback? It's really a great opportunity, right? It's, uh, it's refreshing to be able to do that. Uh, I know the whole building's excited about uh, working uh, together, uh, not only with Caleb, but with everybody. And uh, it's certainly uh, nice to have that fresh start. Has he, been, has he been told that he's the, the starter going to training camp? Do you even have to have that conversation? No conversation. He's the starter. With the, uh, in, in light of that, what, are, what do you want to – I know it's rookie minicamp, but what do you want to see from him knowing that he's got all this on his plate to be ready for that? Role? Just be where your feet are. Right? Be in that moment. Be in the play. Execute that play. Turn the page. Go to the next play. And uh, that's what uh, the elite guys do, and that's what we expect from him. Yeah, just uh, have a great foundation of how you put things in. I think that's important. I think Shane and the offensive staff have done an outstanding job of that, um, you know, thus far, uh, putting that foundation in and making sure that it's likable, learnable, and it can get executed. And uh, we're excited about beginning that process. What makes it likable? Well, I think it's uh, when you have teachers that are good at what they do, um, they make it likable, you know, and how they put it in, how they teach it. And uh, it's exciting to be able to see that. And some people have uh, suggested that if Austin Booker has stayed in college one more year, next year he'd be maybe a second round pick. Did you guys think about that as well in terms of having this prospect and developing? Yeah, we feel great about Austin. Um, you know, he's obviously very young. Um, he's he's uh, got a lot of developing to do in terms of his physical side of it, and um, you know he's going to be uh, it's exciting. I'm going to be excited to see him move around today is for sure. The part? Like you said, the physical part. Is... Yeah, he's got development that way, and also you know the physical, and mental development of his position um, is is got a lot of upside. So we're excited about that. Matt, a, a lot of these players try out undrafted free agents. That's a real uphill climb and a long shot. What would you be looking for in some of these players that might give them a better chance of actually making the team? Yeah, just the movement skill. Um, you know, that you have to have a certain skill set to be able to play up here, and you have to have that to get your foot in the door. Um, and then it's all, all going to be about development, about the work habits, about being, you know, playing smart, playing the right way. Uh, but it has to be that first. Now, what's it been like for you to see Caleb and Rome and Keenan and all those guys out in the community at the Cubs game, at the Sky game, and really wanting to represent this organization out in the community? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, the first part of building a team is relationships, you know, and building that bond with each other. And uh, I'm uh, certainly uh, excited about those guys doing that outside the building and, uh, and having that rapport with each other and being comfortable around each other um, outside of the football building. But, uh, um, yeah, that was cool to see. Matt, you have about a month here with Caleb. What are the benchmarks that you'd like to see cleared before you guys break for the summer? Yeah, so uh, with the development piece of it is, you know, operation. You know, operation of the offense, but understanding of the concepts. You know, uh, you know we have a, a plan in place and the concepts that we're going to get taught uh, through this offseason and leading into the summer. And we'll have a plan for the summer and then leading into training camp. So... Um, just the understanding, the full understanding of the concepts, uh, run, pass, uh, checks, and, uh, and his fundamentals. You know, the fundamentals that we have uh, in place for him, which he's really good fundamentally, obviously, but we have some things that we want to be able to work on and improve as well. Is there an adaptation for Shane, too, during this time period, Shane Waldron, where you want him to kind of gauge what Caleb can do, what he's best at, maybe you guys tailor the offense a little bit during this month? Absolutely. That, that's going to be the whole process, right? We're, what are guys good at? What can they handle? Um, that's the process for everybody on the roster. And, you know, the tryout guys, everybody. We're going to figure that out, what they can do, what they're good at. And then we'll, we'll enhance those things. And if they need to improve on something, we're going to work and have a plan to get those done too. Now, what, what do Kerry and Ryan Griffin bring to Caleb in terms of the mentorship and helping him through this offseason now that, you know, you are moving forward with him as the starter? Yeah, I, I always think it's, uh, it's important to have – you know, especially at that position, guys that have played the position. And I think you can always glean a lot of information from those guys through those, through those experiences, um, either, either for uh, where they were at, um, their own playing experience, or who they were with. 
I think that's always important to be able to have that at the at the quarterback spot. Matt, as, you, as, you've, as you've kind of felt this swell of attention towards your football team, what's been notable to you about about this? Obviously, you stepped up today and took, take a look out and you see what this is looking like now. Uh, most thing is uh, energy. You know, uh, we've always had positive energy in the building, but now I think it's enhanced even more, and uh, we're excited about that. But we understand the process is always going to be about hard work, and it's always going to be about passion for the game. So uh, we're going to be rooted in those two things. Matt, last last you've had guys like you know, someone come address the rookie class. Uh, do you have any former players, special guests addressing the team? So what's the message to them? With Peanut? Yeah, is Peanut here, or is there any other? Yeah, Peanut's already been here. He was here last night. He's always here at the opening ceremony for the rookie mini camp, and he did an awesome job again. And he just talked about a champion's mindset, about you know being able to have a long career uh, in this, and it's all about doing the work and about being where your feet are. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Thank you. Thank you.